Hey there, traveler. Wherever you're at, I want to take a moment to thank you for creating the space here with me. Whether you're dealing with the hustle and bustle of the city, or out in some liminal astral place, you know, just vibing, right? little meditation or mandala that we're going to be focusing on today is actually the changing of the seasons. Back in my home base, we just started having the first glimpses of that change from summer into fall. The first hint of the leaves changing. The nights are starting to get, you know, just a little bit longer and definitely a little bit colder. Believe. This is the last week of uh, a sunset before 8 p.m. in my home base area. Pretty excited about that. I do enjoy going back into the crawl towards the big dark and hibernation and coming to that respite from the world and celebrating with different feasts, right? And celebrations through the darkness of the night, finding the warmth and joy in that. Contemplating a little bit further this nature of change. Everything changes, right? That is unfortunately or fortunately just part of the reality that we exist in and that we live in. Even liminal spaces change. Everything decays, changes, morphs into something new. To our best understanding, the inevitable heat death of the universe, right, might reach a stasis point, but we're there's a lot of question marks involved in that theory. The reality is we exist, or at least we perceive an existence, in a constant state of change. I don't think that innately anything anthropomorphic is exempt from that we can get into the impermanence of the soul or whatever light touches light and reincarnation or a single life that we live or whatever these experiences are it is constantly in the state of flux and change impermanence One of those things that, to the best of my understanding at least, and coming from my limited perspective and all the different biases that I carry, is something that we all have inherited. The impertinent nature of reality. With that comes different sea of causes and conditions, causing different trains. And that's where I really kind of bring it to this week's question of the week, honestly. This is funny because in my little thread, it actually posted twice, so this is apparently one that uh, definitely needed to visit and think about. The question is, if you could wake up tomorrow, having gained any one quality or ability, what would it be? <clears throat> now, my, obviously, my cop-out answer is to, you know... Uh, have some version of enlightenment, right? Be able to be like, oh, here's this pathway to be able to end all the suffering and everything like that. But then, like, the, the actual reflection I had on that was, like, what does that actually even mean, right? What is this, again, undefined concept? And I think that's one of the reasons why when I've been going through these different meditations, especially, you know, on the book club series of uh, the Tibetan Book of the Dead really going through like trying to understand like at least for what is my understanding what is the understanding that I've begun to cultivate towards like these concepts in an actual um, understanding of what they could be I 
I think for me, like this concept of enlightenment, obviously it's not something like an uh, omniscience or something like that. It would be the understanding of not only how to just be here present in this moment, but be able to act and cultivate and build in ways that functions in, towards sustainability. Now, when I say sustainability, I believe that would be towards the end of uh, basically the condition of suffering um, for all agents, right? And doing that in a holistic way that is somehow able to respect their agency and or things like that. But then that gets into the concept of then like, well, then does that get to a place where a tiger doesn't need to eat uh, a deer, right? Because that deer's still suffering in that experience. And that's like, it's out of the concept of uh, the incomplete, like, best totality of the elimination of suffering, right? So, I think to even remove that, even just a little bit simpler, right? I think that I would just wake up with the ability to somehow, or like some lucky quality, to act in a way that always worked towards that compassion, right? That, that well, maybe not perfect, maybe not perfect ultimately human but that one quality would be always in whatever mindful acts whatever unmindful acts I do the intention and the act is still there to work towards whatever that purpose is right because ideally you know with the people that I've come to love and the people that I want to help including myself all the different animals that have been just stripped of their homes as humans have gone and done some pretty crazy things to the natural world. To be able to act in a way, whether that's through direct policy changes or advocacy or learning how to be healthy and deconstruct myself. I do also think that fundamentally, as that was definitely mentioned in some of the conversations around to some other fun things would be able to time manipulation, not necessarily like to be able to time travel, but I really think that'd be really fun to be able to, as time as a place to be able to actually visit places in time. Um, whether I'm not sure exactly how that could work, but I have some different theories that I'm willing to go into different conversations of. And then obviously the ability to communicate with all beings, like right? definitely like whatever is apparently an actor or whether whatever has its own sensitivity or agency, right? Being able to communicate with that agency, right? Uh, in, in a common, kind of, no-nonsense language kind of way, so we don't have to worry about the Tower of Babel situation, I think would be really cool. Those are simply some free shout-outs from a pretty inspiring person who came up with those two ideas. Well, Traveler, wherever you're at, even if you're searching for the setting sun, going from west to east, Try to rest underneath the fig tree. Or just living your life. Always remember, you are loved. And you are enough. <laughs>